it's uh, Monday the 23rd of March and here in Northwest Bosnia Herzegovina we're in lockdown basically um, COVID-19 the coronavirus call it what you will um, it's hit the country if you saw the live broadcast that Tamara and I did uh, on Sunday which was yesterday uh, we talked about the measures that the country have brought in and the measures that we've got here in the Banja Luka region of the country. If it's a bit windy today, I do apologise. We should have had snow. Uh, we went from 24 degrees down to this very, very chilly, I don't know, it must be about zero at the moment. And we had a little snow earlier. I'm going to try and keep the camera, uh, if I can, away from... Uh, I won't say it's the sun, but it's quite bright behind the clouds, but we're supposed to be socially distancing. Old people are totally confined to their houses until further notice. Um, some people were being uh, socially irresponsible uh, by having picnics still and doing things that they thought that they could do. Um, so the powers that be have now put a curfew on. So from eight o'clock in the evening until five o'clock in the morning, you can't go anywhere and you have to keep two meters away from each other. So I'm gonna turn around at the moment. I hope this doesn't glare too much coming on. I'll, I'll walk backwards so that we get a better shot. Um, Tam can't be out here at the moment because she suffers terribly with pollen. And uh, that's a very unpleasant place to be if you suffer with pollen being, without being around a fruit tree. So yeah, uh, old people can't, uh, go out at all and everybody else is on curfew only essential workers if you're coming into the country you won't get in unless you're a citizen we have a permit and then you've got to go into 14 days isolation so this is the first of uh, my lockdown vlogs i'll be do doing them every two to three days and today i wanted to talk about uh where we are as far as social distancing is concerned so we're supposed to keep away from people and being out here in the village um, is great. Somebody said on online it's idyllic isolation. These are um, the vines for the grapes. Here are some for raspberries I think and if you watch one of the past videos you'll know that this is where the tractor was and it will come back. Lactatia is over in the distance about six kilometers away there's the road you won't see it necessarily on the screen but that's where we have to go out to to get towards Banja Luka and those hills in the background right there are the Kozara mountain range I think it's going to rain although it did say it's going to snow for the next two days we had a flurry of snow during the night but this is the property that uh, I'm very blessed with being where I am um, so I can walk around and get exercise, which we all need to do. And I, yeah, I was a soldier for many years, very fit guy. And then when I retired, I just decided to let it all go out the window, but I can now at least walk around. So this is my social distancing. My nearest neighbors are there. This is where they are on the other side of the fence. Nobody around at the moment. So I can walk around, get fit, and keep away from people. Now I know that politicians have been saying that you should stay inside and that uh, fresh air doesn't provide a barrier. But I think here is a good exception. So I'm more than two meters away from anyone. I'm really lucky. Well, Tam and I and Tam's parents are very lucky to be able to do this. Would you like to see the fruit trees? The fruit trees are down there. Yes, yeah, so I even get to walk through a fruit orchard, all the fruit trees. So yeah, social distancing. I don't think I have a problem. I'm not sure whether a policeman 
who was patrolling. The road is just behind me there. I don't know whether he would stop and say, you have to go inside the house, but I don't think so. So I get to walk a little bit and I don't have to worry about getting into trouble. Bloody chilly though today. As I said, it was 24 and it's, uh, goodness, it must be about zero at the moment. I'll quickly show you the end of my little walk. And here it is. These are all the twigs from the pruning of the trees that will be burnt soon. There's the bus stop. I don't know if I've ever told you about the bus stop. But that bus stop only has buses stopping at it. School buses, not normal buses. And there'll be nobody in there for a long, long time because school has now been suspended until further notice. And there's the other neighbours. And I think it's starting, or at least trying, to snow. Daily life in the village during a lockdown. And I know some of you are going to say I would die to be where you are. I know. It's not lost on me in, in any shape, size or form. So, uh, yeah. Cam's made coffee and knurdle, which are dumplings with fruit inside. So, see, a little bit of hills, little inclines, get the old heart going. There you are. Another day here in the village. It's late March 2020. Coronavirus, COVID-19, big problems in Bosnia Herzegovina this morning, apparently, especially in our part of Bosnia. Uh, another five people tested, uh, more people coming back, seasonal workers coming back, especially from Italy. Uh, hopefully they're being tested uh, at the border and then being put into quarantine. But the sad fact is that some of them will have got uh, infection and will need to be put in quarantine. Hopefully they'll be kept at the border uh, and not just tested and then told to go home because I think Tam was saying 50 people were caught yesterday by the police for breaking their self-isolation which I think is pretty stupid but you know there's stupid people in every country in the world uh, not only here. It's cold. I am rather cold and for those that follow the main blog an englishman in the balkans you'll know that recently we've had beautiful weather 24 degrees this is not 24 degrees is it this is something else um it's quite deep actually where i am and i hope hope you can see how deep the snow is at the moment how much longer this is going to last for we have no idea the weather forecast my weather app which is pretty reliable normally says maybe another day or two tam's father reckons this will be gone by this afternoon but i don't think it's going to stay it looks deep um it has been cold as i say obviously for it to snow the only problem that we've got here in the village is has it been cold enough to bite those early blossoms from the fruit trees which might result in another year another season of uh, no fruit. But if we don't get fruit and we get through this virus situation, there's no argument, right? So that's it from the first of the uh, lockdown diaries, as it were. I uh, hope you enjoyed the content. Please comment on it, share it. Uh, if you're finding this on YouTube, do like, share and subscribe. You know what to do and press the button for notifications. If you're seeing this on uh, Facebook uh, and you already like the page, that's fine. If you're a first time visitor, do please like the page. And whether you're a new visitor or a long time uh, viewer, just check your following uh, tab and put it on C first rather than default. That means that we'll always pop up in your busy Facebook feed and on uh, Instagram TV 
simply follow and um, enjoy the rest of the content. I'm going to go and shake my fleece off now and get this edited. Stay safe wherever you are. Thank you so much for the comments today. Keep them coming. It's much appreciated. And uh, yeah, in a couple of days there'll be another one of these. Bye for now.